local business owner has been given the okay to reopen, but tells us they don't want to. The reason they are concerned about keeping their employees and their families healthy and safe. Channel 11's Amy Hudak shares with us why this is such a hard decision for them. Construction is one of the first major industries in the state to be given the green light to get back to work. But for one local family owned business, it's just not that easy. Well, May 1st, we will not be good to go. I have uh, a lot of hesitation. Alexis Russell and her husband Monte own Russell General Contracting. Well, given the okay to get back to job sites May 1st, they don't feel the logistics were thought through. For us to kind of just get thrown back out there within a week, to have to know how to be infectious disease experts and the appropriate ways to sanitize and sterilize any space. It's easy to do in a hospital. Not so much on a job site without running water. The Russells have six children, six employees, and work with countless subcontractors on dozens of sites. And we have to keep them safe as well. So even if it's a matter of just the PPE, having access to that, it's very tough to find masks right now. The governor sent four pages of guidelines for construction companies, including limiting the sharing of tools. If you've ever been on a job site, that is extremely difficult to do. The Russells say a single piece of equipment can be thousands of dollars. They can't afford to buy a dozen of everything. We could spray them down with a bleach mixture of some sort every once in a while, but I don't think that we're going to be supplying every person on our squad with their own table saw or, you know, it just, it didn't seem very realistic to me. And while this family team would love to get working again. Just because they're saying we can open up does not mean it's safe to open up. The Russells say with construction reopening in the state, they fear their employees won't be eligible for unemployment if they choose to stay closed. It's a lot to consider for this family-owned business. Amy Hudak, Channel 11 News.